Welcome to the Byte Guardian, everyone. Today we're diving deep into the world of Linux distributions with a head-to-head -head matchup, MX Linux versus Debian KDE. We're talking about two distros known for their stability, customization, and user friendliness, but which one comes out on top? If you're trying to decide which one deserves a spot on your hard drive, you've come to the right place. Stick around and we'll break it all down. All right, so you've got your USB drive ready. You're feeling the Linux hype. Let's get this party started. First up, MX Linux. The installation process here is designed to be smooth sailing, even for folks who are brand new to Linux. The installer itself is super straightforward, guiding you through each step with clear instructions. You'll choose your language, keyboard layout, partition your drives, don't worry, they make it easy, and you'll be up and running in no time. Now, over in Debian KDE land, the installation might feel a more involved, especially if you opt for the advanced installation mode. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, though. It just gives you more granular control over the entire process. You can fine-tune things to your liking, but if you prefer a more hands-off approach, the standard installer is still very manageable. One thing I really appreciate about MX Linux is the MX Tools package. This suite of tools is a lifesaver for post-installation tweaks and configuration. Need to install proprietary drivers? MX Tools has got you covered. Want to customize your desktop environment? MX Tools to the rescue again. It just simplifies a lot of the common tasks that can sometimes be a headache on other distros. Debian, being the granddaddy of stable distros, takes a bit more of a DIY approach. You've got all the tools you need at your disposal, but it might require a bit more digging around in the settings and maybe consulting the excellent Debian wiki from time to time. Again, not necessarily a bad thing, just a different philosophy. When it comes to the actual installation time, both distros are pretty comparable. MX Linux might have a slight edge here, especially on older hardware, but we're not talking about a massive difference. Let's be real, aesthetics aren't everything, but when you're staring at a screen for hours on end, you want something that's easy on the eyes. MX Linux, by default, rocks the XFCE desktop environment. Now, XFCE is known for being lightweight and fast, which is awesome for performance, but it can sometimes get a bad rap for not being the most visually stunning. However, MX Linux does a fantastic job of theming XFCE to make it look modern and polished. Plus, you've got tons of customization options if you want to tweak the look and feel to your liking. Debian KDE, on the other hand, comes with, you guessed it, KDE Plasma as the default desktop environment. KDE is known for being incredibly customizable and visually appealing right out of the box. You've got widgets galore, slick animations, and a level of polish that rivals even some commercial operating systems. If you're someone who loves to tinker with every aspect of your desktop, KDE will keep you busy for days. One of the things I love about KDE is the attention to detail. Little things like the way windows minimize or the smooth transitions between workspaces just make the whole experience feel more refined. XFCE, while not quite as flashy, is still no slouch in the customization department. You can change themes, icons, window decorations, and more. It might not have quite as many bells and whistles as KDE, but it's still incredibly flexible. Ultimately, the best desktop environment for you comes down to personal preference. Do you prioritize speed and efficiency above all else? XFCE might be your jam. Do you crave a visually stunning and highly customizable experience? KDE is calling your name. Okay, let's talk performance. This is where MX Linux really shines. Because it's built on top of Debian's stable base and uses the lightweight XFCE desktop, MX Linux is incredibly snappy and responsive, even on older hardware. If you're rocking a system with limited RAM and processing power, MX Linux will breathe new life into it. You'll be blown away by how fast applications launch, how smoothly the system runs, and how little resources it consumes. Debian KDE, with its more resource-intensive desktop environment, understandably requires a bit more horsepower to run smoothly. That's not to say it's slow by any means, but you will notice a difference if you're comparing it side-by-side -side with MX Linux on the same hardware. On a modern system with a decent amount of RAM, Debian KDE flies. But if you're working with older hardware, you might want to consider sticking with MX Linux or exploring some of the lighter weight desktop environments available for Debian. One area where MX Linux really impressed me was boot times. From the moment I hit the power button to the time I was staring at the desktop, MX Linux booted up incredibly fast. Debian KDE, while not slow by any means, took a bit longer to load up. 
Again, this is largely due to the difference in desktop environments and the services they load at startup. In terms of day-to-day -day performance, both distros are rock solid. I didn't experience any crashes, slowdowns, or hiccups during my testing. Whether I was browsing the web, editing documents, or watching videos, both MX Linux and Debian KDE handled everything I threw at them with ease. One of the great things about Linux is the sheer abundance of software available. Both MX Linux and Debian KDE have access to vast software repositories, so you'll find pretty much any application you could ever need. MX Linux makes things super easy with its built-in package manager which lets you search for, install, and update software with just a few clicks. They've also got the MX package installer which is like an app store specifically for MX Linux, making it even easier to find and install popular applications. Debian, being the stable distro that it is, sometimes gets a bad rap for having slightly outdated software versions. While it's true that Debian prioritizes stability over bleeding-edge updates, you can still find relatively recent versions of most applications in the official repositories. Plus, Debian has a massive community, so there are tons of third-party repositories available if you need the absolute latest and greatest software. One thing I really appreciate about Debian's package management system is its robustness and reliability. APT, Debian's package manager, is known for its speed, efficiency, and ability to handle complex software dependencies without breaking a sweat. MX Linux also uses APT under the hood, so you're getting the same rock-solid package management experience on both distros. Whether you prefer the simplicity of MX Linux's package manager or the power and flexibility of Debian's APT, you'll be in good hands. Both distros make it easy to find, install, and manage the software you need. Let's face it, even the most experienced Linux users need a helping hand sometimes. Luckily, both MX Linux and Debian KDE have thriving communities full of helpful folks who are always willing to lend their expertise. MX Linux has a dedicated forum where you can ask questions, get help with troubleshooting, and connect with other MX Linux users. The MX Linux community is known for being particularly welcoming to newcomers, so don't be afraid to ask even the most basic questions. Debian, being one of the oldest and most widely used Linux distributions, has a massive online community. You'll find forums, mailing lists, IRC channels, and more, all dedicated to Debian. No matter what issue you're facing, chances are someone in the Debian community has encountered it before and can point you in the right direction. One thing that sets Debian apart is its incredibly thorough documentation. The Debian Wiki is an absolute treasure trove of information covering everything from basic installation to advanced system administration. If you prefer to figure things out on your own, the Debian Wiki is an invaluable resource. MX Linux also has excellent documentation including a comprehensive user manual and a wiki. While it might not be quite as extensive as Debian's documentation, it's still incredibly helpful and well written. Whether you prefer the friendly and welcoming atmosphere of the MX Linux community or the vast knowledge base of the Debian community, you'll find the support you need to succeed with either distro. So there you have it, a detailed look at MX Linux and Debian KDE. Both are fantastic Linux distributions with a lot to offer. Ultimately, the best choice for you depends on your individual needs and preferences. If you're looking for a fast, lightweight, and beginner-friendly distro that just works out of the box, MX Linux is an excellent choice. If you crave customization options, a visually stunning desktop environment, and don't mind getting your hands a little dirty, Debian KDE is the way to go. No matter which distro you choose, you're in for a treat. Both MX Linux and Debian KDE offer a stable, secure, and customizable computing experience that will make you wonder why you ever put up with anything else. Thanks for watching. If you found this comparison helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech content. Let us know in the comments which one you prefer, MX Linux or Debian KDE.